solving routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical expressions and equations. In solving routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical expressions and equations, it is essential that you know the parts of expression and equation, as this may help you to figure out how you will solve the word problems. Let's have the example 5n plus 8, wherein 5n is the first term, while 8 is the second term. Term is a part of an expression or equation that is added or subtracted. Next is the variable n. It is a letter that represents an unknown amount. Before the variable n is the number 5, called coefficient. It is a number multiplied by a variable. It is written immediately in front of the variable. And the last is the number 8, called constant. It is a term that contains only a number and no variables. Problem number 1. Sheila bought two pints of frozen yogurt and a box of cookies for a total of 295 pesos. If the price of a box of cookies is 125 pesos, what is the price of a pint of frozen yogurt? The first step in solving word problems involving expressions and equations is to identify and define the variable, which is the unknown. With this problem, the price of a pint of frozen yogurt is missing, so that will be the unknown. With this unknown, let n be the price of one pint. Other given numbers are the two pints of frozen yogurt represented by 2n, since the price of one pint is still unknown. 125 pesos is the price of a box of cookies, and 295 pesos is the total price. After identifying and defining the variable, second step is to write an equation using the variable. Going back with the problem, two pints of frozen yogurt and a box of cookies that cost 125 pesos were the items bought by Sheila, and the total price is 295 pesos. Writing an equation for this will be 2n plus 125 equals 295. After setting the equation, you will now solve the equation. If the variable is not the direct answer to the word problem, you may use it to calculate the answer. In equation 2n plus 125 equals 295, or 2 times n plus 125 equals 295, since the total amount is given, so you may start working backward. In this strategy, take note that operations will change as you go along the process. Starting at the end, subtract 125 from 295. Then divide the difference by 2. So it will be 295 minus 125 equals 170 divided by 2 equals 85. Therefore, 85 pesos is the price of a pint of frozen yogurt. To check if the answer is correct, Write the original equation while replacing the variable with the answer. So 2n plus 125 equals 295, or 2 times n plus 125 equals 295. Replacing n in 2 times n is 2 times 85, 
which is equal to 170, which is the price of the two pints, plus 125, which is the price of a box of cookies, is equal to 295. This means the answer 85 pesos as the price of a pint of frozen yogurt is correct. Problem 2. The sum of two numbers is 84, and one of them is 12 more than the other. What are the two numbers? The first step is to identify and define the variable, which is the unknown. In the given problem, the two numbers are missing, and we don't know what those two numbers are. So let n be the other number. Meanwhile, one number is given, which is 12 more than the other. And for that, we will use 12 plus n, and 84 as the sum of two numbers. After identifying and defining the variable, the second step is to write an equation using the variable. Since the sum of two numbers is being asked, wherein one of them is 12 more than the other, so that will be 12 plus n. Other one is unknown, so that's n. The total is 84. Therefore, the equation will be n plus 12 plus n equals 84. Step 3 is to solve the equation. If the variable is not the direct answer to the word problem, you may use it to calculate the answer. Going back with the equation n plus 12 plus n equals 84, combining the n's, you'll have 2n. Using the transposition, you will move 12 on the other side of the equation while changing the operation. Thus, 2n equals 84 minus 12. Subtracting 12 from 84 will give you 72. And so, 2n equals 72. Transposing 2 on the other side is n equals 72 divided by 2, which will give the answer of 36. So n as the other number is equal to 36. So 12 plus n or 12 plus 36 equals 48 as one number. To check if the answer is correct, write the original equation while replacing the variable with the answer. So n plus 12 plus n equals 84. Replacing n is 36, and replacing 12 plus n is 12 plus 36, and this is equal to 48. Thus, 36 plus 48 equals 84, which means the answers 36 and 48 are correct. Let's try. Number 1. What is n in 5 times n minus 38 equals 62? The answer is 20. Number 2. What is the number in 5 times a number increased by 7 is equal to 47? The answer is 8. Number 3. A basketball team played 32 games and won three times as many games as it lost. How many games did the team win? The answer is 24.